This circuit controls the brightness of these two LEDs from these two potentiometers. The control of these of the brightness of these two LEDs is done using PWM technique. This is the microcontroller peak 18F4550. This microcontroller has two PWM modules and the output of these modules is on RC2 and RC1 respectively. RC2 is the output of PWM1 signal and RC1 is the output of the PWM2 signal which means these two LEDs are connected to RC1 and RC2. These, poten these two potentiometers are connected to analog channel 0 and analog channel 1 as we can see. The microcontroller here reads the analog value from the potentiometer and after conversion of this analog value it becomes a digital value and the, P, the PWM duty cycle of the PWM signal is set from the digital from the converted digital value as we can see there is no crystal oscillator or, the, or there is no external oscillator the microcontroller here runs with its internal oscillator at 8 megahertz and also the amclear pin function is disabled the two potentiometers here are at minimum value this potentiometer as we can see controls the brightness of of the LED as we can see and this potentiometer controls the brightness of the other LED its circuit is just a test circuit for the PWM modules of the peak 18F4550 as known the PW the peak 18F4550 has an, an enhanced PWM module or an enhanced CCP which is CCP1 and a normal CCP module which is in our case CCP2 this LED here as we can see it connected to RC2 which means this LED is connected to the output of, of, C, of the CCP1 or PWM1 module and this LED is connected to RC1 which means CCP to PWM output this potentiometer is connected to analog channel 0 and this potentiometer is connected to analog channel 1 the code here is written using CCS Pixie compiler you can find this circuit schematic and the C code on On the blog ccspeakc.blogspot.com